Hey, it's Coach Josh, and I'm really excited to share with you today my first ever inaugural address of the Fitness Factor tier list. I'm gonna rank in order the most important fitness factors, the things that determine your health and wellness, not just now, but in the long run. And I'm going to share with you what's kind of a waste of time and probably doesn't need to uh, be in your toolbox and toolkit. And one of the reasons why this video is so important is it also puts into context what this channel is all about. So when you see me talking about things, I'm going to be talking about the S tier and the A tier uh, topics a lot more than I'm gonna be talking about the D tier topics and the things that are a waste of time. So uh, hopefully you, this will create a framework for you to start to parse out things that are not important and so you can spend more of your time and attention and energy on the things that actually matter. So let's kick things off. We're gonna go from the top down. I know that you know, a lot of times uh, you know, YouTubers, they start uh, you know, in the middle and go up and down to keep the video going and on and on, but uh, I wanna not just talk about what's at the S tier, but I also wanna tell you why some things don't make, to, make it to S tier. So in the S tier, at the absolute highest of the hierarchy is exercise. So exercise is the first and foremost, most important thing because it has the most important implications to your longevity and your health span, meaning it improves the quality of life and the quantity of life that you get to, even more important than diet in the longest of long runs. And I'm gonna explain why here in a second, but exercise, the combination, it has to be the yin and the yang, yin and the yang, sorry, of cardio and strength. If you have to live on just one, I would do strength training because by doing strength training, you get a little bit of cardio conditioning. And that way you can kind of double dip, but you have to have exercise. As we age, the, it, uh, strength training is the number one insulating factor to Alzheimer's and dementia, where we've seen that your grip strength has a 40% risk reduction of Alzheimer's. 40%, there is no, no such thing as getting 100% risk-free, right? So the most dramatic thing that you can do to prevent neurodegenerative diseases is to be in really great strength or have a really great uh, strength conditioning program. So that has to be up there at the top, not to mention it improves heart function, not to mention uh, bone density, uh, you know, resili tissue resilience and on and on and on. And this is hard for me because the next S tier element is Nutrition, right? So having mac your macros dialed in, having a balanced diet is also really, really important. More so than exercise because, here's why. Let's say I eat perfectly and I have exactly the right amount of protein fat. I mean, I, I, I like a monk. I, I live on rice, beans, and eat a thousand calories a day. Even though I have a great, uh, very clean diet, I will actually degrade, my health and fitness will degrade over time because if I'm not exercising and training, I'm not using my body, I'm not gonna be able to keep the muscle. I'll, also, my neurodegenerative diseases will take hold a little bit earlier because of the lack of blood flow through my heart and my brain. So even though diet is really, really important, exercise trumps diet. But it's still S tier, still critical, and if you have the exercise without the diet, then you're not gonna get the same results and you're gonna feel tired and exhausted and you're not gonna be able to build the physique and the health that you want. So you gotta have, you gotta have both. And then stress, stress is the other S tier variable, the input that must be managed and, and uh, uh, warded against inside of your health and fitness program. Because when you're really, really stressed out and stress and uh, pressure is, is squishing your other obligations in your life and it's impacting your relationships with your health, your family, uh, your work, the people around you, when unmanaged stress will destroy everything else. Stress is just the, meta the, the, the metaphor is pressure. So if you just uh, have unbridled pressure that's kind of impacting every single thing that you do, then you will have poor results in every area of your life, including the next A tier item, which is sleep. So if you're not managing your stress, it's gonna impact your sleep. And if you're not exercising and your, food and your diet's off, your sleep will be uh, heavily, heavily impacted. And sleep, gosh, I put it on A tier only because it is impacted by those S tier uh, items, but sleep is really, really critical. And if you don't get your sleep dialed, 
your cognitive function has impact immediately. First 24 hours of poor sleep, immediately you, you're impacted. So you gotta get that sleep fix worked on and exercise and nutrition and stress management help you get higher qualities of sleep. Now of course, sleep quality is more important than sleep quantity. Your uh, sleep hygiene is really what impacts that, but that's another video for another time. Sleep's really important. Okay, now we're here at B tier. Everything that I share on B tier actually goes to D tier if you don't have S and A tiers figured out. So uh, B tier is your diagnostics. Those are your blood tests, right? Those are your blood draws, your DNA tests. Those are your DEXA scans. So you figure out how much muscle and fat you've got going on. And the reason why they're B tier and not above is because if you are doing these diagnostics and you don't have a well-balanced plan, what you're gonna find is you're gonna have a bunch of different ways for you to understand that you're really out of shape. So if I'm looking in the mirror and I don't like what I see, I don't need six more data points that I'm fat, overweight, tired, you know, and brittle. I don't need a bunch of technical data on that. So instead, this would all go to D tier if I'm not doing, if I'm doing the regular exercise, I'm lifting on, on a regular basis, I'm doing walks, I'm eating well and I'm sleeping well, or I'm trying to work on my sleep, all that's been in place for a little while, then these B tier items become really critical because they can help you find the next logical constraint. So if your diet's really clean, but your cholesterol's elevating, right, or you've got something that's going on, it'll clue you in onto where you might have some genetic factors and impacting your health, and then what your next logical step would be, whether it's more diagnostics or a particular intervention that really matters to you more, uh, that's more specific to your situation. So that those diagnostics on B tier are really, really important. However, uh, those must come after your S and A tier objectives. Now, the C tier stuff is, you know, any kind of specific, really tactical thing, like, a, counting calories or doing paleo or intermittent fasting. Sure, those can be tools and can be helpful if you are using them in a, in a wise way with a larger strategy in mind. But intermittent fasting without making sure that you're getting all the nutrients in that you need or without making sure that you're getting the sleep and the exercise isn't gonna produce any, in fact, it might even move you back. So C tier with its uh, specific diets, you know, uh, your calorie counting, um, or any of these, or any of those aforementioned diagnostics, they, they, they would drop down into C or D tier if you're not doing the, the stuff above them, they have much less of an impact. And your D tier, this is the, these are things that are straight up waste of time, energy, and money. So that's almost all spa therapies. So if you're talking about red light therapy or, you know, um, cryotherapy or things that are, they do stuff, it does something, but it's not gonna move the needle on your health and fitness. In fact, um, I think most spa therapies are, they make you feel good, which are great, uh, but they're a waste of time if you, again, haven't implemented this higher tier um, items. And importantly, they can distract you from actually solving the real problems that, uh, that are on your plate that you have to solve. The exception to supplements is, most supplements are garbage. The big four that I recommend everybody look at, creatine for cognitive function and for uh, strength training, uh, omega-3s for brain health and for your diet. They also have heart implications and help thin your blood. Uh, your uh, mineral supplements, so they can be your element or your athletic greens, you know, something that you can drink uh, pretty early in the morning to help mineralize you and hydrate you. Yes, there's vitamins and minerals in those things, but um, not for the sake of getting all your vitamins in, but for the sake of mineralization of your blood, absolutely, you can have one of those supplements. And then the fourth one, which is also optional, protein. If you're not getting enough protein because of your balanced diet, uh, maybe you have specifically you're a vegetarian or a vegan, or you just have a hard time eating enough protein, then I would supplement with protein to make, it, make your life easier. But other than those four things, most other supplements are a waste of time unless you have a specific need for a supplement that you've identified through some diagnostic criteria. You've had a, a doctor look at your you know, a blood panels and your ferritin levels and your iron and you know, you've figured out that you might need some more vitamin D or some B12 or something specific to you. Um, again, you would know that that applies to you and if you're, if you're not sure, comment in the comment section and ask, hey, 
when on earth would I need a specific supplement or you know, uh, what blood test would reveal that, happy to help you out. So what do you got? You've got a rank ordered list of the most important things in the order that you should tackle them in. So try not to move down the tier list until you've tackled everything above it. If you use that as your rubric for how you put your program together, you're gonna get better results, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna waste less time, energy, and money, and ultimately, that's what's gonna help you bring forth the warrior within.